Hello everyone, my name is Raj. I am a TME at Palo Alto Networks. Today, I am really excited to talk about CN series, which is industry's first containerized firewall for securing the Kubernetes workloads. Let me start with a quick overview and then we'll dive into the actual demo. CN series delivers all the capabilities of our PS series and VM series firewalls, but in a container form factor. By doing so, it provides customers the ability to deploy layer 7 network security and threat protection for their Kubernetes clusters. It is natively integrated with Kubernetes orchestration tools, so customers can easily deploy it as part of their CI CD workflow. I'll start the demo by highlighting our ability to import the Kubernetes labels. In a Kubernetes world, we all know that pods are ephemeral and their IPs keeps on changing. So in this case, how do we provide the consistent security and that too in an automated fashion. Let's look at that. Here I'm showing a multi-cloud setup with software firewalls running in AWS and Azure, as well as CN series is running in Google Cloud or GKE. Now our native integration with the Kubernetes API server allows customers to dynamically retrieve metadata objects from the cluster. And then we can use those objects or labels as part of dynamic address groups within a policy. Here the example shows number of objects that we can query from a cluster. Dynamic address groups help to automatically adapt to changes like adds, moves or deletions of parts and provide the layer 7 security and threat prevention in an automated fashion. Let's look at this with a real example. We are looking at a policy which says that a communication between a web server located in development namespace needs to communicate securely to a database server which is located in production namespace. I'm allowing only SQL and ping traffic for this communication. And then I'm also making sure that I have all the security controls in place by having protection profile configured to strict. It will make sure that Anytime there's a communication which is happening between these two parts, um, if it's a malicious communication or malicious activity, that will be strictly blocked. Now, let's go ahead and scale this web server part from a single part to maybe five parts and see what happens to the policy. For that, we'll go to our cluster running in GKE. And here you can see that I have one part running. So let me scale that to from one to five. So as soon as I have increased the number of pods from one to five, you can see that those new pods have just came instantly. And coming back to policy, if I look at my web servers now, policy has instantly updated all the address objects and we are still providing that continuous and secure layer seven communication between the pods running in different namespaces. Now let's look at the traffic visualization and the network map for communication happening between these pods. So let's move on to the monitor tab. And within the monitor tab, we are looking at a traffic log which clearly shows the communication which is happening between a dev, a DB and a web server <laughs> between the namespaces. Now, if you want to look at the thread logs, we can see here that Within the same cluster, I have an Nginx pod. This looks like a compromised pod, which is trying to make communication to an outside world for crypto mining activities. However, CN series was able to identify that threat and we were able to block it. ACC tab provides heat map across the entire network. I can look at all the resources within all the device groups, or I can specifically drill down to the my container workloads. So in this case, if I look at the specific device group for my content workloads, I can see the communication happening between the parts. I can also look at the threads as well as the various kind of traffic which is traversing through my Kubernetes workloads. To recap, in this demo, we just saw how our native integration with Kubernetes allows customers to retrieve labels and apply them in policy in an automated fashion. We also reviewed the traffic visualization as well as network map by looking at monitoring and ACC activities. This concludes the demonstration of 
how CN series provides layer 7 visibility and protection for the entire Kubernetes workloads for our customers. Thank you so much for watching.